Oh shit. Hey, this is Noah, and uh, it is July the 15th, and I am here to bring you some recent video game news. But before that, check out this neat new logo I got right there. It's gonna go down here where you're gonna be see it for all eternity. Some video game news, here we go. First off, Bungie devs uh, today actually announced that they probably will not be carrying any progress made in the Destiny beta to the actual final copy of the game. In a recent interview with Eurogamer, uh, Bungie community manager David Deej Dig told them, so it's certainly not a promise or an announcement that we're making at this time. It all depends on what we learn and how things shake out. So we're certainly not telling players they can carry their progress over, but we haven't made any announcements either way. So it seems at this point, uh, if you've made any damn progress in your game file, uh, if you actually have played the beta when it comes out, by the time it comes out, um, be sure to play a hell of a lot of it when it comes out because you'll probably not be getting that information passed over due to the fact it is a beta, and beta means beta for a reason, it is not official, it is just the test gameplay. So get your fill and then hope that you want to restart by the time the game actually releases. Beta actually receives, uh, releases for the PlayStation consoles on July 17th, the Xbox consoles on July 23rd, before closing down for good on July 27th. Next up for all you uh, Bioshock fanboys out there, Xbox Live is actually holding a special for all gold members. Um, you can actually pick up the first and original copy of Bioshock and its sequel, Bioshock 2, developed by 2K Marin, uh, for five bucks each on the Xbox Marketplace. In addition, the brand new title, Bioshock Infinite, is actually available at, uh, for $12.83. So, you will be able to pick up all three versions of the game for approximately 23 bucks if you're a gold member on Xbox 360. But not only that, but all the DLCs are on sale too, so you get both episodes of uh, Bioshock Infinite Burial at Sea, Part 1 and Part 2. You get Clash in the Clouds, and it's all on sale. It's all on sale if you are a gold member. So I would jump on that. You can get all three games and all three portions of the DLC. But if you're actually not a gold member of Xbox Live, there is a little promotion going on through Microsoft where if you buy certain candies like Skittles and Starburst and uh, certain gummies and stuff like that, you can actually get a uh, QR code with a free week of Xbox Live. So keep buying the candies, keep on getting weeks of Xbox Live for free because that will end up getting you the sale probably so then you can just not worry about it in the future since every other game in that series besides Bioshock 2 is actually not online compatible. So that's cool. Last up, you actually are available to start pre-ordering WWE 2K15 uh, through companies like GameStop and they are offering a neat little package uh, for you if you pre-order that incredibly broken glitchy game. Um, at least I hope they've improved on it this time. They're actually offering you the Wrestler Sting. Yes indeed, TNA Defector Sting is coming to your WWE 2K15 if you pre-order. He is actually going to come in two forms if you pre-order him. Um, the first one is his uh, very crow-esque look, uh, his current look like he has on TNA with the white makeup with the black under his eyes and the really dark look. The second is actually when he wore like uh, bright colors in his earlier form with the uh, flat top buzz, you know. So you're actually going to get two variants um, of the costumes for Sting if you pre-order. And in the statement about pre-ordering, it's actually uh, neither confirmed or denied whether or not 2K is going to sell those um, costume variants separately. So it's either up in the air right now about whether or not you can uh, get both costumes upon release date when you pre-order or if you have to buy them separately. Well, that's going to be it for me today, guys. This is Noah. Uh, skate on your own. And uh, check back in on Thursday because I'm going to try to do this every two days in the week. It's going to be Tuesday and Thursday. Uh, this is kind of a new experiment for me because of the fact that I've never really tried to do this before other than little tiny bits of news that are outside the gaming industry and the media industry as a whole. So what I'm going to do is Tuesday, Thursday, check back in on the channel if you're actually alive and I have any fans out there. Um, probably not. So I appreciate you guys checking in on this video and hopefully you got a little uh, insight on what's going on in the gaming world today. Peace out.